Um, all right, let's let's call the meeting to order. Uh, it's uh, six oh six. This is a April 9th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. It's being done on Zoom video conference. Um, you don't have we're, we're recording this meeting, correct? It says recording, so I think it is, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, first item on our agenda is um, the April 6th minutes. Anybody had a chance to read those minutes? I did. Okay. Phil? Yeah. The, the only addition I would have to that is that um, Peggy Sloan did promise us that she was going to um, get the scope of work for the Williamsburg uh, project. So I don't, I didn't see that in the minutes, but. Okay. Yeah. She's, I think she wants, she's going to do that by Monday, correct? I think that's what she said, but I don't, um, I just didn't see that in the minute. So that was just the one thing I remember from that meeting that, you know, whatever. So other than that, I was fine, but. Okay. Um, Lisa, would you just amend the minutes to reflect that? Lisa, can you hear me? All right, we'll, we'll with that amendment, is that good with you, Philip? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll make a motion that uh, the minutes be amended in accordance with uh, the suggestion uh, made by Philip. And um, we'll approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay, yes. Everybody's, everybody's an aye. That's unanimous. Um, okay, and an update from Jan here. Um, she's uh, picking up her dad's medications and is on her cell phone. Um, so she's going to try to get in again, but somehow the numbers aren't working for her. Um, okay. Okay. I do, I do have her here. Uh, Jan, can you say hello? Hello. Hi, Hi Jan. Jan. How are we doing? Hi. All right. Well, we can just keep going like this if you like. Yeah, that, that that's in. fine. Okay. Oh, you're yeah. in. You're oh, in. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. Um, okay. Philip, you're the one that had most of the questions on this. Why don't you question, give, you know, Jan, whatever questions you have, and we'll move forward from there. Well, this is sort of, an, you know, even since we talked about this on Monday, there's all this new information with the, the bid um, and what the relationship of the bid is to the loan amount. That's why I was, I, I believe Walter was going to be on this call. Um, but but at any rate, um, uh, the Ron, Ron's on the call from the Highway Committee. Is that I right? Am. Yeah. So, um, and I don't know whether the committee had a chance to sort of talk about what the what what they felt they would need in the way of funds uh, in this loan. So that was that was my principal question because, it's the, you, you know, we only I only want to sort of here, borrow. Here's Walter. Here's Walter. Hi, hey, Walter. Hi, Walter. Hey, Walter. Yeah, so, so I mean, I just wanted to borrow what we need to to do the project and not not anything more. So that's all that um, that was the first thing. And then depending on what the amount is that the committee feels that they need, um, it was going to depend on, you know, that 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 might change the financing of it in, so, in some respect. It might, it might not. But um, but so so that's where that's where I was at with everything. I don't. What, I, mean, I, I thought I was impressed with the bid that came out. I did that that I just saw for four hundred and something. So I I would uh, ask Walter to talk about uh, his feelings on the subject, and, and Ron as well. Well, we had a meeting today of the committee. Okay. And I guess the whole thing that we debated was risk reward. Right. And there are risks if we cut back on the borrowing. And a large part of the risk comes from a certain amount of uncertainty um, that we have because of the, uh, the uh, pandemic situation. We don't know if we can rely on the tech school. And uh, there's a possibility we'll have to go out to bid again. 
um, which will certainly uh, contribute a big unknown to the amount of money we're going to need. Um, furthermore, um, if we go ahead and borrow the 988,000, I think um, that, and if there's money um, that we don't spend on the very minimum building which we've designed, there are things that are begging to be added, like um, bathing, a fueling station, furniture and appliances. And I'm sure as the job goes on, um, the, the other things will occur to us. Now, I don't understand really the reward part. Um, um, we focus mainly on the risk. Um, uh, a simple-minded view of the reward is that we would pay less interest. Uh, uh, but would money get bottled up so that uh, it couldn't be transferred to the general fund, for example? Well, uh, the, 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 the money would not get transferred to the general fund in any case. It's, it's just for the project. Mm -hmm. so, well, what happens if we don't use the very last ten dollars? Where do they go? We we just we pay off the loan. We're borrowing the money, so we so can pay the loan off. We just off. always use it to pay the loan off. Oh, so if we only yeah. spent nine hundred thousand, we could take the rest of what we borrowed and and put it toward principal. So um, can I step in there for a minute? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, is, yeah. Hi, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, it took me so long, but I've been listening for a minute. And um, so we cannot prepay the loan early, but we can use leftover money to pay the loan over years. So if we, when we get into the project, we start spending down the loan, we finish all that, and then we move to stabilization funds. And what we have left will be from stabilization. And so that can either be voted out to another use, or it can be voted, I believe, and you know, I, I, could, I could be wrong, I haven't checked on the legalities of it, but I believe it could be voted to, to use to pay the loan. And so we're going to use all the money we borrow first. Yes, that's the idea. Okay. Because you, right. if you have money left from the loan, then you have to put it in a special revenue account to be used for similar purpose. Right. So we don't want to, we don't want to get stuck with that. We already have a couple of those out there already. Yeah. Okay. Philip, any other questions? You saw, you saw Jan's analysis of the, of the 10 versus the 15. Is not all yes. Good. So my, my understanding of, of well, a couple of things. First of all, the the, the, the bonding thing that um, with interest being low, it's it, it may be that the total fees are really substantial. And this is what I was trying to get at: but the difference between the fifteen-year note and the one-year um, every year renewable thing is the the the, the one-year route does not include bond, bond council fees, bond prep fees. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And that really, all you pay is the interest. And neither does and the 15 year state house note. They all have small admin fees of less than a thousand dollars. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there's no way we're going to do one year at a time on this. It's going to be a 15 year loan. It's not going to make any difference whether it's 15 or 10, because even if we get a lower interest rate, it's not going to make that much difference. People are going to pay more with a 10 year. Uh, it's going to affect taxes more. And we're not going to save that much. I, th I think right. I agree with that. I think I agree well, with that. Um, if if I might say what my goal was in that summary, so you saw the summary I sent yeah. out. Yes. That, um, so I think you really have to stick to what you presented to the people, and that was the um, 20, what was it, $29? impact i'm sorry i don't have the spreadsheet in front of me right now but so you have to I, stick. I put it up on a shared to... screen thank you tom uh, nice okay. job tom thank you. yeah, that was what I was yeah. losing your audio where'd jan go can you hear me yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. 
I, I looked away to, to look at the spreadsheet for a minute. I'm working off my cell phone, so I'm limited here, sorry. So anyway, I, I don't think we had to stick to a similar impact as what we presented and a similar use of free cash. So if we squeeze it down to a 10 year, the, the only way to keep the impact the same is to increase the free cash. And as you can see, it significantly increased. So I, I wouldn't recommend that route. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's too much of a hit on free cash. I think we have to stick to our our initial plan, which are the two that are together that show two and a half percent and two percent. And because we're going to get a bit of better interest rate, I presume at this point, then we're just going to be able to keep you know the interest down and the free cash down. Right. I I totally agree with that. And the the other now, thing that. Uh, Sorry, Jan, I want to say, well, is... say one more thing before I finish. So the last example on there I gave, I took the free cash that was planned out in the in the first plan that we presented at town meeting, and I plugged it in to see how much lower I could get the impact if we used the same amount of free cash presented. So that's what that shows. And the impact wasn't really significantly lower. So I, I would just stick to our initial plan. Bob, what do you think? Um, yeah, I agree. I, I like sticking with what we did, but I also really believe we can put the money to good use. Uh, you yeah, know, uh, there absolutely. were comments at town meeting about why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that? And, uh, uh, you know, we all congratulate Walter for getting this thing passed. And it was sort of funny to hear that in town meeting. And, and right. I'm, right. I think this money can get well spent. Did we lose Walter? No, I'm here. I hear there you, Walter. Okay. Walter, you have any other comments on, on the financing plan? Or uh, uh, Ron, do you have any? No, I think uh, Jan pretty much summed it up there. Sounds good there. <clears throat> so the, the other thing that I'd just like to call everybody's attention, I don't know if anybody saw the, um, the, the, the headline on the Wall Street Journal today. I think it was in a couple other business journals the past couple of days that the municipal bond market has crashed nationwide, that um, supposedly in all 50 states within the past month or two or three weeks, um, there has not been a single project that has been able to be bonded uh, by a local or county government. And that's because the secondary market where these are bought as financial instruments has crashed um, to zero and that the, the market is waiting for the economy to rebound before the bonds are bid on and whatever. So there, there, that there is no, no marketplace for these right now. Um, and that they're saying well, min minimum end of May before, before this, the market for municipal bonds is up again. I don't know if anybody knows about this. All right, well, what we're trying to decide is how we're gonna borrow the, the 998. Okay, and when we're going to borrow that is when it can be borrowed, right? That's what we're trying to decide on. That market's going to be back. That market's not going anywhere. Right. I think we're going to be okay because we have several local banks that are still bidding. I had an example of one that just uh, bid out in March so uh, from Western Mass. So um, they, they are still bidding on the state house notes here. You might be talking about longer term bonds, but um, we are our famed Adams Community Bank, I'm pretty sure they're gonna bid on us and they offer very competitive rates. They've, they've won several, um, you know, in the last six months. So I think we'll be okay. All right, is everybody okay. satisfied with what we've talked about so far? Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I Yes. I mean, Walter, is there a chance that the amount that, that the difference between the amount that we borrow and the amount that the project ends up spending that is a wide is a substantial amount? It's awful I mean, is, hard. is there a chance that the savings are going to be uh, this? I mean, we're talking about like savings in the third or fourth order now. But um, is there a chance that the savings are going to be substantial from the 988 that we borrow? Or do you think or, or, or do you think that one way or the other, 
the project's going to use the money up and just make it a better project and a better project, et cetera, et cetera. We certainly have the option to do that. We have uh, left over. I hope we have money left over. That'd be wonderful. And I hope we can do extra things. But, but do you gotta, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. If I can say something. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Ron. The, the total project is a 1.4 million. If you had the borrowed money and the money from stabilization, I'm pretty sure that there's not a good, the borrowed money will be spent and a fair amount of the other money, the stabilization money. So there's, I don't see a threat that we're going to not use the borrowed money amount. All right. I mean, we're going to be over that amount. It's a good point. I mean, I think, you know, that we might end up with a couple hundred thousand dollars in the end out of the stabilization that we don't use, may not use. I'm not going to say that we won't, but it would be out of this, the money that got put into the account from stabilization that we'll be spending last. There's, as far as spending the money that we borrow, I'm pretty sure that we're going to spend all of that with no problem. All right. I agree with Ron. Right. Are we all set now? We're all in consensus with this? I think so. I'll, I'll recommend, I'll, I'll uh, make a motion that we approve Jan's recommendation to go with funding oh. for 15 years uh, for the 998. Is that it, Jan? Is it 998 or 988? 988. 988, okay. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All in, all in favor? Philip? Aye. Yes. Philip, yes. Bob, yes. Yeah. And I'm a yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank uh, you, Jan. Walter and uh, Ron. Now we want to talk about the um, addressing items in recent legislation. Uh, Philip, you had some questions about that? We're Which dismissed, recent right? Yeah. Yeah. Which oh. recent legislation are we talking about? Do you have the agenda? Property tax due date to no later than June. June one. Uh, yeah. Um. I, yeah. I. 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 Each and every one of Jan's recommendations in this, I heartily concur. And that. Um. And I think it's really important that we help people as much as we can. So that's my take on that. Bob. Me too. Okay. I'm in favor of that also. Yeah. Um, so just to let you know, the details have all been ironed out. I feel pretty comfortable with everything. So we're accepting uh, section 10 and section 11. That's what you're voting on, right? Right. Yep. Yeah, we don't, we don't need the one uh, number two there, which is um, extending the date for exemption applications to no later than June 1st. Is it's that right, Jan? Of, right, it is right, but it's part of section 10. So I think you should just accept the whole section even though it doesn't apply to us. All right, so we're, we're looking at the, the COVID relief law here, and we're going to accept sections 10 and 11. Is that correct? Yes. All right. I'll make a motion to that effect. Do I have a second? Yeah. Philip? Okay. Uh, all in favor? Yes. Philip? Aye. Bob and myself. We're all eyes on that. Okay. And could I request that we put this on the town webpage as soon as possible to let people know that? Oh, I'm, yes. sure, I'm sure Tom's going to do that. Uh, yeah. Good, good idea. Yep. All right. Do we have any announcements? Tom, you have any announcements? Uh, nope. Okay. So uh, I do. I do. Just, ahead, just, uh, I don't know if you saw um, that uh, as of today, the uh, at the Big E, there's now a drive-through testing, free testing for all Western Mass first responders. Right. Yep. Yeah. It was on the news, what was it, last night or the night before? Yeah. Great. So... So I would just ask that we urge all first responders in town to go down there ASAP, get tested. Do they have to justify the test or no. just do it? No, yeah, it can be asymptomatic. You don't have to have any symptoms at all. If you're a first responder, you get tested and you get results in three, two, three, four days, whatever. Um, it's free to the town. You're, you're, you're saying they don't need to have... Um, any symptoms at all. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they've... Yeah. 
It's a good thing. And so I, would, I think I thought, they, I thought they had to be symptomatic. Uh, they did formerly, but as of today, they no longer do. All right. So that was yesterday. That was the case, but not today. Correct. Okay. And, right. and going forward. All right. And so, I mean, I just think, I don't know, we, we don't have a policy about this, but I just think we should urge them all to just go down for their own peace of mind. And plus, yeah. um, just, you know, you don't want them infected and treating people and meeting people. So, so Tom, could you pass that on to Bob as on. the chief and the ambulance? I was just going to say that, Robert. Yeah. Just to say that. Yeah, pass it on to everybody, Tom, all right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Any yeah. other announcements? No, nope, that was my announcement. Okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, uh, April 13 at 6 o'clock. Uh, and we're going to be in, in a Zoom meeting as well. All right? Sounds great. Nice uh, to see you and not just on the phone. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, everybody. Hey, see you, you. Monday. Yeah.